I don't, I don't know why people are saying this. Um, I, I think one of the people that are saying it uh, about the Delta Force, I have my own theory on it. I couldn't help but notice you had a YouTube channel. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this video. This week's video is basically me tackling this mess. This is a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. This is one that I've had all the way back since Spiritus Gate, which was like 2019. I've had him a long time. He should be bigger, not gonna lie. He has been cut down a couple of times actually, I say that. Um, he's a little bit... I'm gonna say dehydrated. He's not completely himself and he's grown downwards. So he looks a bit saggy. That's mainly just the position he's grown in to get to light. He's not actually that unwell, but we can see some really nice leaves here. He's really showing his form now. It's not the biggest leaf in the world, but he's getting there. This one's arguably a bit bigger. It is curling around to be fair. I do think he's thirsty, but he's not. My point is he grows that way. He's not just completely having a mad problem. Now then, what have we got? So the thing in this pot is <laughs> we have the Spirit just basically has three heads on it, three growth points. That's why it looks that dense. I don't know if you can tell how dense this is, but it's genuinely quite dense, guys. That's, uh, it's not your average. For some reason, it's, it's grown three growth points. I'm not that mad. So what we're gonna try to do today is I'm going to repot this into another pot. Hopefully you can see it there. It's, it's a bit bigger, but it's not too much bigger. And we are going to put in said pot one of these bad boys. I wish I could tell you where I got this from. I think I got it from Amazon. All it is, it's a, a coir pole or a moss pole, whatever you want to call it. it, has a stake in the bottom and it actually has a hole in the top. Hopefully you can see that. What it means you can do is, if I pull out the second one, because I got it in a pack of two, if I just, can I do that? Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Obviously you would take the wrapping off, but you can actually just extend your moss pole like this by doing that. I don't actually want to do that because it's a spiritus and I don't think it's going to be growing that, you know, high up for a while, but I want to do it because it's a nice, short, neat pole. I really, really like these. Genuinely depends on the plant. For example, if it was something that grew quickly like a Monstera Deliciosa or something that had really large internodal spacing, so the space between the nodes on the plant, probably wouldn't recommend them. But if you've got something that grows really, really tight and it takes a long time to grow upwards, these are really, really good because you don't have plants on poles with loads of, you know, pole hanging like this kind of thing, which way to put it, put it that way. You'd have your pole, you know, instead of having it like that, when the plant's all the way at the bottom, you can have it much shorter and it looks much nicer. So I do recommend these. That's what we're going to put in. Obviously, we're going to do the usual. We're going to answer some questions and I want to talk very briefly about something that you can clearly see from the title. We will get there. I promise you we will get there. Um, just something I want to talk about that has come to my attention recently. So we're going to do that. I feel out of breath. That's not very good. So <sighs> breathe, put this down, put the gloves on, get your questions up and we'll see what to talk about. Someone has said they would love to see me on a podcast and they've named the podcast. I'm not actually familiar with what that podcast is actually, but I've, I've had a few people recently asking me to appear on podcasts. If you'd like to do that, by the way, um, I, I don't mind doing it. I think it could be fun. So I have a email address on my Instagram. If you click like, and if you click the link in my bio, it's on there. I can't remember, or there might be a button for it. I'm terrible. I can't remember. Really sorry. And if you email me through that, I will take a look at that and I will get back to you on that. That's just like, that's a super, super quick answer I can give you to that question. I'm all up for a podcast. Certain podcasts I've turned down in the past, um, but it's mainly because, how do I put it? It was quite a big podcast as well. And they tried to catch me for like three years um, and I was sort of all for doing it. And then I think they, they worked with someone that I, to put it bluntly guys, I wouldn't be seen dead in the same show with, uh, whether it be on different episodes or not. So I, I said no to that. But in general, I wouldn't mind doing some podcasts here and there. I'm all for it. So if that's something that interests you, if you've got a channel and you do podcasts or, or whatever it is, um, do let me know. Find that email in my Instagram profile and it should take you there. So that's all I want to say on that. Let me just have a scroll. Feed, feed, feed. Still asking me when it's going to be available in the US. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still building up on Amazon. If you want to check the progress of my feed, you can look at my Amazon page that's linked in uh, the description of this video and you should see the reviews and stuff like that. I need a big, a bigger customer base to expand the product. So I'm, it's kind of a way to track it, right? It's not a foolproof way, but it's kind of a way. Let's start with... A nice light one while I try to get this out. So, um, 
Well, what we need to do first, we need to somehow get this out. Oh no. Well, that's dry as well, you know. This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. So hang on, guys. So we've obviously got some wonderful growth for the roots at the bottom of here. Uh, which is great and all, but I anticipate we're probably going to lose a lot of this when I take this plant out of the pot. And you know what? It's one of the very few downsides of self-watering. This can happen and you lose roots. Because I feel like with a regular old plant pot, you know, like a plastic nursery pot, you can just cut that and save your roots. Sorry, the random gnat. Um, with stuff like this, you can't do that. So we're just going to very gently try and get him out. Oh, I, what I didn't address, by the way, was this. Can you see this? I, I really hope you can. I really hope the camera picks it up. This is aerial roots from this spiritus. They're, it's way taller than me, guys. Way taller than me. I probably have to cut them, okay? It's, it's not something I like to do, but I cut them with Monstera and they seem fine. So I would like to be able to say that this would be fine. I don't know. I would, I would hate to lose this plant because as you know, I've had it for a long, long time. And it's very cute. It looks gnarly because I should have done this a long time ago. And it's grown really weird. And I, honestly, I don't even know how I'm going to attach it to a pole at all. <laughs> so... We'll, we'll cover that when we get to it, but we don't lose this, so. It has had things in it. It's had these little stakes in it, which you might not be able to see very well. Now, it's hard to frame these videos, guys, because I'm often repotting something that is, it's just large and you can't get detail and stuff. But if you watched the video I had maybe about a week ago now, I did a video where it was more focused on the repotting itself and like I was cutting some rot off and stuff like that. I want to do more of them and I will be doing more of them. So I guess I'll just intermingle it with this where you see less of the repotting and it's more about the chat. That's fine. And the other ones, an example of which I did last week, will be more about the repotting and not about the chat at all. And I will literally just talk you through the actual repot. So don't worry, you will be getting more of those. Um, but obviously this is not quite like that. This is the typical repot format in which I talk about stuff. I don't know how I'm getting this out of this pot. I actually don't know. Because if I try and pick this up, this, oh, it's fused in the pot. Oh no, no guys, I'm not even joking. Even the pawn, is it because it's all root? <gasps> Oh no, I actually don't know what to do here. Maybe I should wet it. I actually don't know how I'm getting this plant out. This is not even a joke. Oh no, because obviously the, the roots in the bottom here are stuck as well. That's why I think they're gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to snap them. I'm so sorry, I know this is triggering. I totally get it, but there is no way in hell this plant is coming out of this pot unharmed. And it's my fault because I left it too long. I'm trying to grab the, the main base of the entire plant and pull it. Oh shit, they might be swearing in this video. I know there normally is, but this might be even worse. Oh my God, guys, I can't pick it up. I'm actually sweating from trying. Oh no. Okay, I didn't, I didn't have a backup option here because I didn't think this would happen. Oh no. Oh, hang on. Hopefully, I hope I don't lose roots here. This would be really bad. I feel like once it's come a bit loose, we might be better. Oh my God. Yeah, so I have the questions for two minutes. I actually need to get this plant out and then I can relax. <laughs> Give me one moment. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I do feel like I felt it move. I'm gonna have to stand back a little bit so I can actually hold the plant properly. And I might get pawn everywhere, but it's fine. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, it's coming. Yes, yes, yes. Right, we're gonna lose what's on the bottom. That's fine, I don't care. This could have gone so much worse. Okay, you know what? That's not bad, that's not bad. So there is pawn everywhere. And I might briefly sweep up in a second. We've lost some root. We'll go into that in a sec. But, guys, we've got the rest of it. And you know what? There's some very old rot I can see because it's really dark root. Other than that, the whole pot is encased in root. It's really cool. I'll see if I can move it up to the camera a little bit. So you can see it's literally encased to the point where the stilts of the plant are encased in root. So I guess the first thing to do is... Oh my god. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? First thing to do is very gently... Put this on here, I think. Let the leaves sort of trail over the end and I'm just going to have to very gently go at it and try and loosen these roots up. I'm going to trim some of these because they're doing my head in. Give me one moment. I need to find something to trim. I need to sweep up because that's going to irritate me. So I will go into my first question while I do that. And the first question was... Hang on. <sighs> The first question was, how's your, was it, how's your, two, uh, are you any further along with tattoo plants? Yes, kind of, yes. So you can't maybe see, but I have added a little bit to this tattoo on my forearm. So it was just the snake's head down here. I now have a little peony, it's sort of, sorry, I can't do that. It sort of adds here and then a little bit to add here to sort of make it a little bit more like a forearm piece rather than just one floating tattoo. Gradually, what I'd like to do is I would like to have it's not a full sleeve, but it will almost be a full sleeve. So I want this covered here and this 
covered here and it's going to sort of like there'll be more pieces added here but it's going to sort of fade out to leave the elbow a little bit but it's going to be done in a really nice way i know it probably sounds like it isn't but i'm going to find a way <laughs> to do it really nicely i've changed my tattoo artist guys there's a bit of tea for you actually let's give you some very quick tattoo tea right i've changed my tattoo artist because i did my research right they had really good designs. The quality of their work was fantastic, blah, 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 blah. Really good. I even had someone else check it for me and all seemed very well. Until, until I was looking on Pinterest and I happened to find a tattoo they'd done on Pinterest. And I thought, oh, cool. Their work's on Pinterest. Long story very short, guys. It turns out it wasn't. It wasn't on Pinterest. They had taken the tattoo from Pinterest. I thought, oh my God, okay. And the more I looked on Pinterest and on their feed, the more I realized that nearly all of that their tattoos, sorry, I can't speak today. Nearly all of their tattoos were lifted from Pinterest, which means mine, mine it turns out guys, is actually a fusion of two different tattoos that have been lifted from Pinterest. That's a little bit embarrassing because I did do my best to do my homework, but I guess it's not too bad because it's unique in the sense that it's fused two tattoos together. But anyway, so with that said, I've gone to a different artist and it's gonna be done completely differently. And this artist is a is a much better artist put it that way so there's a little bit of uh, tattoo tea alongside and i'm gonna cut these alongside you asking about my tattoo plans uh brief intermission so we've lost these which we were going to guys there's, there's just too many roots i'm sure you can relate you know taking um roots out of pots and stuff like that we've lost this it's fine i've cut these leaves off they were just minging anyway and they were really old look how old these leaves are look at the size of it that's so cute so we've lost them I'm not mad. It's absolutely fine. Don't care. So put that down there. Lovely, lovely. Right. My tattoo plans. Yes, that's the shape of what I want. Um, I always said if anyone caught it a few videos ago, I would keep my tattoos kind of like nature based. So I know birds, flowers, leaves, any kind of animal, whatever. Um, I would really like a death moth or a death head moth, I think you call it, up here. Probably kind of where my bicep would be, somewhere around here. I think that would look really sick. So I would like to have one of those. And then, to be honest, I'm going to leave the rest up to the artist as to what to kind of put around it and how to do it. Because honestly, I think that's kind of the best idea. And that is what I did with my original artist, by the way. Um, I gave her some reference pictures, but I guess it didn't make a difference, did it? So never mind. So that's my plan for my tattoo. I want to leave my other arm completely free because I don't want to have like basically a sleeve and then like bits on this arm. I don't think I want two sleeves. I'm very, very content on having the one sleeve. So that's something that I want to do. Um, and then my right thigh slash glute on this side, so the opposite side to my arm. I want quite a big piece as well. I'll probably have to uh, really put on my big girl pants for that, I think, because that's probably going to hurt like a bitch. But that is the plan anyway. I think that's a decent enough plan. So I don't have anything I've got my absolute heart set on. And so far that's done me very well. Like I, I do love my tattoo. It's, it's sad to hear that it's a fusion of two other tattoos. But never mind, eh? Never mind. I fixed it now and I'm with a different artist. So that's fine. And I think I'm going to get more added to that um, late July, I think. Somewhere around there. Um, so you'll not see anything new on the tattoo front till then, probably. So it'll be a little while, but I don't want to wait too long because I want all the tattoo to like age at the same, like the same rate, if you know what I mean. So yeah, again, word of advice to anyone getting tattoos. I so recommend doing what I did guys, which was essentially to wear, if you remember, if you were watching my repods and stuff or you saw it in videos, I was wearing a lot of different temporary tattoos and I did it so that it, it's not necessarily the content of what was on the tattoo. Cause when you buy temps, you don't really get much choice, but just the vibe, the size, like, do you like having something in that place on your body? Does it draw more attention to it than you'd like? You know, all of that. Um, I, I completely recommend doing that completely recommend doing that obviously get an artist that can do the style you want and all of those typical things you would expect someone to say i i agree with it right i'm trying to i'm doing my best i'm i'm kind of oh god so itchy i wish i had a mask like literally like a covid mask because i can breathe in the dust that's coming off this pond because it's so old and it's not a vibe guys i'm trying to just massage it out but it's so encased by roots it's like the pond is like inside the whole thing. It's almost like the roots have become the pot and the pond's kind of in the middle. Now, I don't want to completely um, expel all of the pond out of it because there's no point, it's going back in pond. But I, I do want it to be a little bit better than this and I will have to get a pole in here. So 
I'm just massaging as much as I can, hopefully without breaking it. I can see some really old root down here and it is very dark in colour. So I already know that that's rotted, but there's actually not a lot at all. And they're only little hairline roots and they've obviously dried out, I think. Um, but they're all right, you know, I'm quite happy with this. Right, let's get into the question while I massage this root ball. Um, dooby dooby doo. Um, how often do you restock? How often do you restock? Um, it depends because season's just started, so I've restocked now. I would like to say at least once a month, ideally every two weeks. Just depends on how propagations are going, for example. You know, like if we set off variegated gloriosa propagations and they come through, but they all come through too variegated or not enough variegated or whatever, um, then we go again or we release less. Or... So it really kind of depends on what we've got going on. I would like to think that in the next two weeks we will open up shop again. If you wonder why sometimes shipping is closed to my shop, it's probably because you're international. And the way our international shipping works is we can't send out plants right away. We need a big enough batch to order a phytosanitary inspection on. Otherwise, it costs... You literally can't do it per plant, guys. You can't do it. And anyone else that has a shop that sends overseas like that and has to have inspections, you know what I mean. Um, you do have to... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> That dust is really getting to me. You really do have to wait a bit. So that's what that is. Um, very quickly on that, I know a few people have been quite angry at the delays in the UK recently, specifically with feed. Completely take that. Um, there's been no one to dispatch it for a little while. I was a man down. Ben's been away and stuff like that. I've not been able to physically dispatch it. I can't really take it in my car. It's a convertible. It won't hold all the feed, so I can't do it. Um, so that is why the delay has occurred. There should not be a delay now. Like from, say, for example, today onwards, it should be fine. So apologies for that. Sincere apologies for that. But that is the reason I've not been able to do it. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I need to walk away because <sighs> I need to fill my lungs with actual air. Oh, my God. I can see. You won't see this on camera, but I can see a dust cloud literally around this plant. That is nasty. Maybe, you know, if I dunked that in water, it would stop doing it, wouldn't it? It would though, right? Like if I just put it in water. Right, I'm going to temporarily put this on the floor, as big as it is, while I sort out this. What I might do is I'm going to pick up the roots like these and I'll never get them all out because there's so many hairline roots in this that have just snapped that I will never get it all out, but I will get it enough to be able to sieve through it later when I put it through a sieve. So for now, the pond can go back in here so that I don't lose it. Whee! Because some people ask me like, do you reuse pond? Yes, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. I'm not counting on the feed that's in it because, and I've said this before, I just saw one before, but pond has very little feed in it, guys. It's got a little bit of slow release in it. So I don't think you need to care when you've had your pond a bit and it runs out. If you're really concerned, run it through hot water. I don't, and my plants are all fine, honestly. I understand why people are very precious with plants. Of course I do. But I've learned over the years, you actually don't need to be. And it's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. <laughs> I always think that anyway. Right. I need to do that. I need to step away again because now I'm going to sneeze. Oh my God. Hang on. It's coming. It's coming. <coughs> there we go. Right. <sighs> that is very unpleasant, that. Very unpleasant. Right. Let's just... <laughs> I'm performing a hack here. <sighs> I'm going to sweep up again. Apologies, guys. Less repotting, more sweeping, but I don't want to trip or slip or anything like that. I'm sure you don't want that either, so I'm very quickly just going to move that out of the way. Just so it's all fine. I'm going to have to pick up that beast on the floor. I don't think you can see it back there. No, I don't think you can. You might be able to see a small section of it, but it is a beast. Some of these questions, I'm probably going to leave this till next time because you've asked some good ones. But today, where have I put my drink? Today, I'm more one to talk about the thing that's come to my attention. So I'm obviously not going to get through every question because this repot's a bit more of a a simple one, a short one. So I'll not get through them all. But you've asked some really good questions, so I will keep them. Mm -mm. I'll do another repot in like two weeks or so. And we'll go through it. Right, hang on. How's driving going? Driving is going great. I drive everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. I love it. I'm not even nervous anymore. All is well. Are you playing any video games? Oh, I'm not, you know. I'm really not. I should be. I was playing the, the, um, the remastered Tomb Raider. Um, but I, I've stopped playing. I need to get back on that. Someone asked for a Spirit of Sanctity update. Well, isn't this the video for you? You get to see the whole thing. Mysterious dark boy seedlings soon. Um, not seedlings, but propagations, yes. Um, there are some. I need to check on them. I'll probably want another leave, leave? leaf or so from them, I think. 
and to make sure the bigger one because I'd like to sell them at least two leaves two to three it's hard because there's in such high demand but at the same time I need to sell something that isn't like necessarily one leaf depends on the plant doesn't it if it's like something like I don't know many different types of anthuriums like regal or, or know, something like that you can sell one leaf but I just feel like with these there needs to be a little bit more than that so at least two so they are coming along they're in a tray right down there and I've got some more somewhere that I propagated so they were propagated a month ago something like that so they'll not be long so they will come out 100% right I think now what I need to do is because the repotting of that should be easy enough I hope uh, we're gonna have to build this pot so while we build this pot I will get on to the meat and bones uh, is that the right is that a term you know what I mean the meat of what I wanted to talk about today I will just pull this it's gonna be noisy oh don't I swear to god if you don't get to these quick enough all of the labels break down and then they won't pull off and it's so annoying they literally just disintegrate it's really annoying i think i'm gonna have to take this off can i do it with a glove on i hope i can don't i usually do this with gloves on i don't know um, someone very i'll just cover it very quickly while i'm building this someone asked about my pony um you know what i'm probably not far off showing you his channel and and whatever else i think there's nothing you know i've said this before in videos there's nothing specific on it but if you want to watch me like you want to come with me on like a hack or I think it's a, would it be a trek in the US or whatever, trail riding? Um, then you can do that. It's filmed on a GoPro. So like you're on, but the minute it's on my chest, I need to change it to, to it being on my head, I think. Well, I'm going to try both actually because I'm not sure which one I prefer. But at some point very soon, I will be doing that. I just need to actually take some videos because I haven't got any videos at my new livery where I've moved him and the weather's been really bad. So at some point soon, I'll be doing that for you. It's a shame. I've had some hacks on him though and I, it's a shame I didn't have a bloody camera on because it was hilarious. He's been uh, rather spicy, shall we say. I think he's enjoying being off-road a little bit, to put it that way. But yeah, I think he would have enjoyed immensely seeing me on some of these hacks. So it is a shame, but I'm sure I'll get them in the future anyway. But that's not going to be too long coming, I wouldn't thought. Two months maximum, just for the weather to be nice enough. Because no one wants to watch me hack in the rain, do they? No. So I will be doing that. And we shall see. I think we're past the aftermath of dust as well, which is lovely. We'll clip that on here. And then we are good to go. So, just have to... Push that in there and I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. <sighs> Got it. Got it. Got it. We're all good. We're all good. Right, that is the insert. Now we just need the plant. I'm going to put a little bit of pond in the bottom. Then I'm going to sit the plant in it. Right, I talked about something. Uh, it's been brought to my attention very recently. I think I was semi-aware of bits and pieces, but I wasn't completely aware of it. So I'm going to just tackle it now because this is the place where I tend to tackle stuff, is it not? So it's come to my attention recently, guys. One minute. <laughs> Look at this plant. Oh my God, I don't know how we're gonna rescue this. I say rescue, it doesn't need rescuing, but you, you know what I mean. I don't know how we're gonna make him look hot, but we will try. So it's come to my attention recently that I'm not aware of exactly how many people, so I'm not saying it's everybody. I don't know, I actually don't know. It's very hard for me to be able to see stuff like this from my little corner of the internet. But it's been brought to my attention recently, guys, that a number of people, I'm just going to say a number of people, have been accusing me of selling fake plants. Right? Okay. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'll be honest, you pissed me off. Um, I'm not above saying that on these videos, because why not? I'm not going to pretend I'm not annoyed by something when I am. You've really pissed me off, to be honest, because I don't know what reason I've given people to think these things. I don't think really I've got any prior form doing anything like this. I don't really know. So there's a couple of plants in question that have been mentioned. There's probably more. There's probably more than what I'm saying to you now. I don't think anyone's brought into question my Glory Awesome, for example, or... The, the, I mean, the king of Clarinervium is a different matter. Oh, actually, I will show you this really quickly because I just want to show you. Obviously, I repotted this, was it a week ago? And I put it in my feed and I was worried that the leaf at the top was going to abort. It hasn't. It's got bigger. It's great. And it's pushing out flower. So that's him since I repotted him in moss. He's doing really well, really, really well. Obviously, I put him in with my feed um, and it, as a result, he's, he's not he's not aborted anything because my feed is very good, if you didn't know. Here, link is in the description. My feed is very good when you repot things and you, and you transplant a plant from one thing to another. It's very good with shock and stuff like that on the roots. I built it for that, as well as just generally growing shit well, obviously. Um, but it's very, very good for stuff like that. It reduces shock to the root system and clearly, Clearly it's worked because the amount of times in my lifetime I've moved something and it's a border leaf 
not good. Now don't get me wrong, it can still happen. I'm not saying it will stop it happening. I'm just saying the chances of it happening are lowered. And in this case, it's done well. Um, I'm really happy about that because it had a lot of root, uh, a lot of root rot. So I'm very happy with that. So just a teeny mini update on that if those of you that saw my last week's video. Anyway, so it's come to my attention that people are saying that I sell fake shit. The two plants that have been mentioned are, I mean, I understand one more than the other, really. The two plants that I've heard mentioned, and again, there may be more. One is the Anthurium Selby Silver. And the other one is the Anthurium Delta Force. May as well get them for you. Why the hell not? Why not? So you can put a face to the name. Um, let's do, have I got a nice pretty one? Maybe this one. This one does probably need a trim, but here's one of them. This here is Anthurium Selby Silver, characterized by a much longer leaf. The leaf comes in quite brown in tone when it arrives, um, a lot more silver, all the rest, right? That's Anthurium Selby Silver. That's one of the plants we're talking about. Let me put him back because he lives over here. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, a bit snug. The other plant we're talking about, this will be no surprise to you, to most of you, is... Oh, that's king. Oh, that's not that. Let me grab this one. Why not? This one's on the corner. Anthurium Delta Force. This specific plant here, I think, is TC. I do have... I actually have my original, but it's, it's looking really bad. I'm going to tell you now it's looking really bad. But just to prove that I have the original. I think it's, it's not doing well, but it keeps flowering, so we've kept it. This is the original plant from Re Gardens, by the way, from Marinoch. Just prefacing that. So yeah, those are the two plants. I don't, I don't know why people are saying this. Um, I, I think one of the people that are saying it uh, about the Delta Force, I have my own theory on it. I couldn't help but notice you had a YouTube channel. So, I mean, I know, I know we're in a climate on YouTube, right? And you will have noticed if you watch YouTube, nearly every YouTuber that you watch, no matter what the category is, we're all feeling it because it's not, YouTube isn't kind of what it was now. It's, it's not just the plant community that's sort of gone quiet. YouTube generally has gone quite quiet. I've noticed it. I know every single YouTuber you watch has noticed it because they're all bumping out extra content here and there. It's life. It's what happens. You've got to do what you've got to do. But I couldn't help but notice you had a YouTube channel. I don't know if you want the clicks. I'm not really sure. Maybe you missed my original video where I brought in the Delta Force from NSE. You can ask Enid who I bought it from. It's real. <laughs> I don't really get it. And I know where you're going to go with this. I know you're going to write a comment. You're going to write a comment about TC. We'll get to it, right? We'll get to it. Let me just put this back. I might bring it out later because y'all have been saying they ain't true to type and that's literally a TC Delta. But anyway, so I got the Delta Force in. I don't know when it was. You can look back on my channel. It was the same video I got the Variegate Gloriosum in. It's something like late 2021, late 2022. Might have been 2022, if I had to guess. Not sure. And the Variegate Gloriosum I had brought over. Enid has one at NSE. That's my Gloriosum still. I actually gifted it to her. She she got a piece of Gloriosum for free for basically keeping it for me for, what, two, three years. So Enid has some. That is also, it's not mine, it's hers now, if you know what I mean. But it's from my plant. So the Delta Force was in the same box, or technically two separate boxes for shipping, but you know what I mean? It was in the same shipment as that. It was packaged and sent from NSE's shippers to us. It has come from Re Gardens, Marie Knock of Re Gardens, a little lesson on Delta Force. You can't have a true Delta Force unless the mother plant has come from Re Gardens. You can't have it. It's physically impossible. We will get on to propagation in a second. So that's one thing. I don't really get why I'm being accused of faking something. I don't know why you think. I mean, I guess it's a compliment if people think I've actually got the bollocks to stand here in a video and say that Enid sold me something if she didn't. Do you know how easy that is to check? Do you know how easy that would be for any one person to be like, by the way, is this true? What the fuck, man? <laughs> like, and I am offended. I think that's the, the I'm not pissed off. I'm offended, really, um, that someone would just genuinely think that I would do that. I wouldn't do that. And I think I would have a prior form of doing this if I was going to do that, but never mind. So that's one thing that pissed me off. Now, something, th this is so hard, right? The Selby Silver, I, d I honestly don't get where you're coming from at all. Like that was hold maybe 2021. It's a very good example of a Selby Silver and it was from a very reputable collector. I don't see why that's apparently all of a sudden not real. I know quite a few of you bought them from me and they say it's actually better than any other Selby they've ever seen. Maybe it's cause it's real, okay? Now, do I have fucking certificates for all these plants? No. Does anybody? No, because the plant world doesn't work like that. But when you, and it, I guess it's harder for Selby Silver Silver, right? I appreciate that it's harder because it doesn't have the, the provenance that Delta Force has. But Delta Force, you know when you see it, okay? And I understand, guys. I totally understand. So I'm going to have to start potting.
plotting. I knew this would happen, I knew this would happen, I'm very sorry. I understand that people sell fakes out there. And not to sound like a knob, as we say in the UK, but I'm not one of them, right? I'm not one of them. I swear to you, I, how? <laughs> I would not say that on a video if I didn't get it from NSA. The risk I'd be taking there of pissing off, just Enid herself, for example, would be a bit stupid, wasn't it? Wouldn't it be a bit stupid? Now, I also couldn't help but notice one of the people that is saying this bought the Delta Force for, because they bought it from me, I do believe. I think that's the point here. Um, this, sorry, we're back to Delta Force. I know I'm going between two plants. Very sorry. So in case of the Delta Force, someone bought it from me. They bought it from me at the original higher price, okay? Which was still excessively cheap for a Delta Force. Like excessively, excessively cheap because it was three figures, okay? Um, and I think there's some, maybe, maybe they're annoyed that the price has dropped. I don't know. And I am kind of throwing thoughts out there that aren't necessarily that person's thoughts, but I'm just, this is my video now and I get to talk. Um, but maybe, maybe you're a bit bummed that the price came down. I don't know. I just don't, I don't see where you're getting this fake thing from. I don't see where I've put that out there. Now then, we will get on to the middle part of the discussion because I know people will be sat there going, yes, blah, blah, blah. I get it. We'll now talk about it. Propagation. TC, snippy, chop, chop, whatever you want to call it, manual propagation, traditional cut, chop and prop propagation, right? If you propagate from a plant, right? I'm just going on technical terms here, guys, right? Technical terms. If you propagate from this plant, whether you do it in a lab, which by the way, to tissue culture a plant, you must also cut a piece of the plant. Just letting you know. You don't clone it out of thin air, you take a sample of the plant. Particularly an anthurium is done by a leaf callus, by the way, a little nugget for those of you that didn't know. It's not done quite the same as other plants. I've talked about this in my TC video, like what, three years ago, where I talked about different protocols for different plants. There's methods for different plants. Anthurium specifically, particularly, it's done from a leaf callus and it takes a little while to callus that and blah, 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 right? But either way, you have to take a sample of tissue from the plant to grow another plant. It is exactly the same in technical terms as snipping a bit of a plant and growing it on. There's still genetic clones of that plant, right? And I'm getting real sick of people saying that tissue culture, it's like not the real plant. I don't understand it and I will get annoyed. And it's not just because I've produced this, because I have, by the way, um, this specific plant, Delta Force. It's just because it's just, I don't, I know, I'm so sorry because I know people like Kaylee, please don't rant about TC again, but y'all have plants from garden centers and they're all tissue cultured. I literally put my life on it. They're tissue cultured guys. But for some reason, when the plants cost a bit more money, now it's a problem. It's not a problem. It reduces poaching. It, it you know, it supplies demand. It's the reason why the, the, um, the plant climate has gone down like that because TC is so fast, it's supplying everybody quicker than traditional props. It's also why it's cheaper. It's also why it's cheaper. Can I tell you something? I didn't buy this for four figures. I bought it for five figures. Um, I bought this. It was somewhere between $25,000 and $35,000, the original plant. And I did send it to TC because why would I not want to return on that? Why would I not want to return on that? I sent, to be very clear, abundantly clear on this video, I sent a brand new leaf from my Delta Force purchased from Enid at NSE, and it previously belonged to Marie Nock of Marie Gardens in the US. I sent that to a lab in the Netherlands to have it professionally tissue cultured. This is a biological clone from my mother plant. And for some reason, this is fake because I didn't take a pair of scissors and just let it grow. Instead, I took a pair of scissors, I cut it, I put it in a box, I sent it to someone else, they took more pairs of scissors, cut it up into smaller bits, put it in a different type of medium, and allowed it to grow that way. That's actually all we're talking about, TC guys. They're not like, they're not Frankenstein together. There's no, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's not rocket science really is, is the way to put it. It's not, it's still propagation. It's just propagation done incredibly effectively and on the cheap. There's not a lot of difference. Now then, I know what you're gonna get into. Sorry, I will report this. I really apologize. And I'm sorry if I come off very fiery, whatever, but you know what, I haven't been like that in a long time. You can, you'll be fine. It's one video, you'll be fine. Some people used to love this. Do you remember in COVID, you used to love it when I used to pop off. So just for this one time, you can just keep that, okay, right? I'm gonna put this back because I don't want to wave it around, bless it. So 
what was my point? What was my point? I've lost my train of thought. That's very annoying. So yeah, there's no difference basically between one and the other. There just isn't. Yes, that was it. Genetic mutation. Thank God I figured my point because you know what? It would have come back to me in editing and that would have really annoyed me. So yes, with tissue culture, plants can occasionally mutate. There are many, many reasons. We, we don't know most of them, I'm going to be honest. One way of mutating is to not have the, uh, like a, a range in mother plants right? And that's one thing. But in the case of Anthurium Delta Force, there is but one mother plant, guys. That is a fact. That is just a fact. It's not like Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, which by the way, this one is not TC. Do we care? No, we don't. It's not like Spiritus Sancti, there's more of them. Anthurium Delta Force specifically, it, it's so specific. You're not going to get a different mother, a different mother plant of Delta Force. It's always going to be the original mother because there is only one Anthurium Delta Force. In terms of the genetic makeup, the way it looks, everything else, there is only one. And for those of you that are saying, yes, I can find them on Etsy for $100, it's not the same plant. It is simply a hybrid of the two parent plants that made it. That does not make it Delta Force. And I know a lot of sellers would love that to be true, and they are selling it that way. That's on them. That's got nothing to do with me. I don't care. But that's not a Delta Force. The only Anthurium Delta Force um, genetically, should we say, is the one that's come from Re Gardens, from Marie Nock. That, that is it. That is it. Any clone for, produced from that plant is Delta Force. You can't make your own. You can't do it. You have to take propagation to the original plant. You can do this by either cutting and propping, which I do still do in the shop, by the way. I've got a few that are propped. I've got a few that are TC. Can't see the difference. Mainly because it's the same mother. You know which mother it is? It's mine, sat right there. I just picked it up before, okay? You can argue about the difference with, with tissue culture if you like or whatever, but it doesn't make it fake, right? That's a difference, guys. You can't say the word fake. Fake has a completely different meaning. Fake is philodendron pink Congo. And I, I seem fiery because I don't want to be associated with shit like that when this is completely different. Now, again, you can have mutations from tissue culture, but you can also have mutations from propagating plants. It's happened to me in this shop. Seriously, it's happened to me in this shop. Something just starts growing differently. I mean, a lot of it's environmental anyway, right? With Delta Force, they can look slightly different till they mature. They dropped out triangular lobes do take a little bit of time. When they're young, they actually don't have that, by the way. Maybe people don't know that. When they're really, really young, little babies, they don't have that. Do I have anything small enough that's not looking like shit? Uh, that's a hybrid, can't have that. What about this, for example? This is looking like shit. This is one of the ones I rescued um, from Lekka that wasn't doing very well and I put it in moss. Look at the lobes on that. It's a real Delta Force though. And when it gets bigger, it will turn into the one I just showed you before. It's the same mother. I've never had any problems with them. So you can get mutations either way. It happens more often in tissue culture, maybe not in other plants, but in the case specifically of Delta Force, if anything is going to happen, it might seem like it happens more often, but that is because statistically you are increasing the chance of that happening tenfold over standard propagations that take weeks or months to do. It's probably the same probability. You're just seeing it more often. If you even see it, I've never personally seen it and I hold my hands up to that. I've never seen it happen. But if you are seeing that happen, it's because thousands have been produced. You're going to see it more than if someone is just sat there in their greenhouse cutting 20. Do you know what I'm saying? But that's one thing. And if you want to take this back to oh, you know, the, the tissue culture thing, if, if it's not a propagation of a tissue culture, fine, right? That's different, and I want to I want to make sure this is known. That is different from saying it's fake, okay? that's a, There's two different conversations. One is you should specify it's TC or not, or, or done by hand. And the other one is, no, this is actually fake. They're different. They're very different terminologies, very different semantics behind them. Now, talking about the TC versus saying it versus not saying it, I've taken that before, and maybe, maybe someone missed it. That's fine. Fine. Completely appreciate that. Um, sorry, I'm just going to snip this. Let me just snip this because it might be loud. <laughs> Louder than me right now. I, I don't know which video it was. If someone wants to point it out, they're more than welcome to in the comments. But I did address this and I said, look, if I should have been more clear that something was tissue cultured, I take that. And I said that in that video. I take that as criticism um, moving forward. But again, and I still welcome that criticism and I will still receive it because I think it's valid criticism. But to say something is fake, I'd, you're going to have to come with some receipts. I'm sorry, you're going to have to come with some receipts. I'm not putting that much integrity and money into a plant to somehow then produce fake stuff. I don't... How do you even do that? How do I even find something that looks remotely similar to Delta Force? Or are you going to start a conspiracy that I have the real one and then I, I don't know, I 
I bought like a random cheap hybrid that sort of looks the same and then did that. I, why would I spend all the money producing that? Like it, it makes no sense. Plus I wouldn't really do something that I think it's going to come back on me in like six months when they get bigger. Do you know what I mean? I will say this now on this video. If someone has had a negative experience with one of my Delta Force and you think it's growing, it's not a plug, it's bigger and it's not, it's not looking anything like a Delta Force and you can prove you bought it from me and everything else and it all gets checked out. I will replace it for you with another one. Okay. Obviously it's going to be smaller. I can't help that, but I will replace that for you. If you genuinely feel that way, I've never once had someone message me and say that, that that's what's occurred. I know a lot of it's environmental. I know when they're young, they do look very different, but you've just got to believe me when I say that I had this tissue cultured myself. The proof, I guess, in my opinion, the best thing I can say to, to prove it like logically is how could I undercut people with Delta Force? right? If I just bought, because I know that there's mine that's going around and then there's whoever else's um, tissue cultured as well. I think someone else did in the Netherlands and maybe, God, maybe China's got it. I don't know who's got it. There'll be a few people with it, right? But if I hadn't produced my own supply, I could not crush the price like I did because I lowered it dramatically, right? I couldn't do that if I wasn't the person at the top. Remember we had this, like, this conversation ages ago? I mean, I'm not at the top, the tissue culture person's at the top, but you get my point. In terms of just Delta Force, I couldn't have lowered the price like that if I wasn't the one producing it because I, <laughs> right, a little lesson in suppliers, okay? All the shops that are selling it, most of them are around about the same price. It's because their cost price is all the same because only certain people have it and they're all selling it for the same price. And Every shop has a markup. And if one shop has a markup and another one has it half the amount, they, they may as well just put the markup up because it's Delta Force and it's fine. They'll get the cash. Someone will buy the plant. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it, generally speaking, shops keep prices reasonably similar. Are they the same all around? No. Mine are sometimes a little bit higher because I have my own overheads to cover and that's fair enough, right? That's fair enough. But in a general sense, I couldn't have crushed the price like I did if I didn't produce the plant. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And I've tried to be as upfront as I can about the fact that I've done that. I didn't really have to do that. I suppose I could have just not said anything. Um, I'm not saying I want a sticker for saying something. I just, hang on, is there any holes in these? Not really. Sorry, I'm looking for somewhere to put this. Maybe I have to go there. Oh, this is annoying. I don't know where to put this. We're just going to have to put it here. So I don't need like a sticker for doing that. I'm just saying, by the way, I did that. By the way, I've been transparent. That's all I mean by that. But to start just suggesting shit is fake for I don't know what grounds you've got. Perhaps if you do something a little bit more informational and you really put out there why you think it's fake, that would be great. Because I don't, I'm tolerant of a lot of things. I'm tolerant, I'm tolerant of people saying like, I don't know, my content shit or my shop shit or something like that. But when it comes to me actually doing something that deceptive, that's kind of where it crosses a line for me. And that's why you do see me quite fiery today, if, if that makes sense. It's not the same as having an opinion on me as a person or whether you like or dislike my shop or my content or my merch or my feed. It's not the same. If you said my feed was fake or it, I was like sponsored by another company or something, I'd come for you just the same because I think that's a really damaging thing to say with no proof at all. And I don't know if it's for clicks or clout or I don't know what people operate on in 2024, if I'm honest, because I'm not, I'm not on the internet as much as I should be for my job, put it that way. Which is probably why this has spent, this has been a long time coming to my attention, if I'm totally honest. I wasn't, um, I wasn't fully aware of it for quite some time. I am now, obviously, but I really wasn't at the time. Pause, I'm going to try and get this bloody thing in here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is, this is a nightmare. This is a living nightmare. I'm going to have to try and put it in this way. One moment, guys. And I, I really don't mean my tone to be like this, guys. But I mean, God forbid, people sometimes say that. They're like, oh, your tone, your energy was bad. And it's like, but yeah, but I'm talking about something negative. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was just laughing about the whole thing? I think you'd probably think I, I had actually sold fake plants if I was just laughing about it. You know what I mean? Like my tone is appropriate for the subject matter and I just take it very seriously as I should. It's my reputation. You know what I mean? But God, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to take it as a really twisted compliment in the spirit of not being negative, guys. I'm going to take it as really com a really a fucked up compliment that you think that I'd have the balls to lie about something, the, something so big, like buying it from... Maria or NSE or whatever. I, I really take you on that. If you think I've got the bollocks for that, that's kind of, that's pretty cool, I suppose. I mean, it's not true, but it's kind of cool that you think I've got that much balls. Right, I think th this is weird because the leaves are facing this way, but I'm having to secure it on this way. But I think maybe if I just put it back on the shelf, it might rotate back around. I don't know, but I respect that this looks weird. Could I put it the other way? Maybe I could put it the other way. Hang on. Scratch what I just said. 
maybe I'm just being silly for no reason. I just really wanted that, the, um, the larger growth point to be there. But you know what, we'll just have to make do. It's just gonna have to be like that, isn't it, really? I've got aerials coming out of my ass. Hang on. So I, I don't know if I've covered everything, because obviously I'm a little bit annoyed and I've gone back and forth. Um, feel free to make a comment on this subject if you want, but just make it like from a place of actually like uh, logic or sense. Like people say some dumb shit, honestly. I shouldn't be surprised, it's the internet, obviously, but I don't know, I, I couldn't help but think that a couple of people might be salty if uh, they've spent more money on something and it's dropped and it's like, oh, well, you know, this ain't real. It's like, well, just the price doesn't make it any less real. Maybe maybe that is it for you. Maybe because I've sold it cheap, it's therefore um, not real. Uh, no, the, the simple answer as to why it was sold cheap is because I'm producing it and I can. And if other people are trying to get sales, it was a good opportunity to get the sales because my price is cheaper. By the way, that is, it's business 101. It's like the ABCs of business. That's, anyone would do that. If they were producing it themselves, they could also do the same thing. And no doubt they would, they would price match me. They really would, it's what happens. If you remember guys, this has happened before. It's happened before with this plant right here. It's happened with Philadelphia Spirit of Sancti. Um, the price got slashed because, I mean, in that instance, it was slightly different. It was made up apparent that there were tons and tons and tons because growers got a bit greedy and they were kind of flexing about it. And then everyone was like, oh, so it's not that rare then. And then the price tanked and then they realized they made a boo-boo. So in, in some terms, this has happened before. It's not a new concept and it is literally business 101. It's supply and demand. It's undercutting your competitors. It's all the basics, but the fakery thing, I just don't get. The Selby thing, I just don't get. I'm known for my Selby. People love my Selby's and I, I'm not, that sounds really stupid. People actually literally tell me that. Someone wrote it in the comments not so long ago. Uh, if you know who you are, write it again <laughs> to prove that I'm not mad. I'm not just saying it on content to sound better than I am. Um, I get compliments on my Selby silvers. They are real. My thing stopped recording, I don't even know where I was at, but basically I was at the end of my rant, so if I've, if I've changed subject abruptly there, that's why. I was nearly the end of it, um, but, oh, what should I do about this? I don't know what to do about this, you know. I'm going to have to maybe try and tie it. We'll try and tie it, and then I'm going to trim the shit here, because it's ridiculous. Um, try this. La 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 la. Sorry guys, I'm just literally tying this up. But yeah, I mean, the Selby's are real. <laughs> The Delta is real. The Delta has a proven track uh, record. It has proven timeline on this channel. Um, I don't know what else to say other than it's clearly Delta Force. People did this shit to me with this actual plant that I have here. This is so poetic this is happening. This happened to me in 2019 where if, if no one, if, if people don't know, because I did take the video down, I think. Did I take the video down? No, I didn't. I took another video down. Um, if people don't know, in 2019 when I got this Spiritus, people just accused me of, of bullshitting and it was fake and they pretended they spoke to Enid from NSE and she'd said it was fake and it was a whole big fucking thing. Anyone remember that? I remember that. Um, it's a little bit like that, I suppose, really. But again, like, you've got to think, how much bollocks do I have to have to lie about shit like that, guys? You know? But this has happened before with this very plant in front of me. And turns out, guess what? It was a Spiritus Sancti. So don't you look stupid, honestly. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. People on the internet go to ridiculous things. Listen, I'm all for critique, right? It's not nice. Nobody likes it, okay? Let's not sit here and pretend that everyone loves, like, you know, criticism and stuff. No, we don't. We, no one likes it, really. Unless you ask for it and it's kind of nice criticism. But when you're on the internet doing what I do, it's not usually nice criticism. Do you know what I mean? So, but no one likes it. I get that. That's fine. But there is a difference between criticism and saying something is it's fake. There's big fucking difference, guys. If you want to criticize me for something, that's fine. I have to accept that because that's life. Whether I like it or not, I have to accept that. But literally, it's like the amount of rumors people have started me about me over the years. Like, I remember a certain somebody in 2020. Don't think I didn't notice it. I fucking did. Um, I have a big go at me for all my plants being poached and just popping off on Instagram stories like that's just the coolest thing to do. Well, it isn't the coolest thing to do. And no, they aren't poached. Uh, fuck me. Guys, if if you're going to accuse one person of having poached plants, you're going to have to start accusing every single plant shop because we all get our shit from the same places. Do you know what I'm saying? I do the best that I can to make sure that... This is way too short. The best I can to make sure that my shit is not poached. Nowadays, by the way, you've got... Depending on what the plant is, obviously, you've got a borderline guarantee it's not poached because everything's in fucking TC. So unless the original mother was poached, which, by the way, you are never going to know. You are never going to know. Um, then, you know, fair enough. And you can keep not buying TC. I couldn't give a rat's ass. That's fine but I think you're gonna get 
it's going to be more difficult for you to avoid it and you are going to end up spending a lot more money. Hey, if that's your bag, that's fine. You do what you want with your money. Obviously, no one can tell you what to do with your money. But you don't need to be out here accusing people of making fake plans. How the fuck do you even do that? I really want to know where your head was at. Uh, that sounds awful. I mean it in a genuine sense. Like, I want to know how you got to that. I want to know how you got there because I don't get it. Thank you to the people that have apparently been emailing me about this. This is how I know. I got it emailed. Let me know what you do think about the situation. If anybody can offer some clarity, then great, because I, I don't quite know. But I wanted to address it because there's, there's certain things I'm happy to let fly and people say stuff about me on a weekly basis and I don't get involved. I don't say anything. But when it comes to stuff like that, when I hear fake, I think scam, right? That's, that's what I think. So, you know, I've, I've made a lot of content on scamming and stuff like that. And obviously, therefore, I take, I take the issue personally. That's why I've made so much content on scamming. I don't like it. I don't want to be a part of it. And I believe in as much transparency as you can have. The, you know, the TC thing at the time, right? That's my bad. I didn't quite realize it was that much of a, of an issue. Now I do. Now I know fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just cutting all these aerials off. Oh, is that another growth point? There, do not tell me I've got four, four growth points. Oh my God, guys, I do. I actually do. That is not even funny. What is with this plant? It's never behaved right, this plant, honestly. One might say it behaves like a tissue culture plant. But this was before, God, this was before Spiritus anywhere near were being tissue cultured, this one. The, God, guys, I'm going to have to cut these. I know a few people are probably screaming at me going, how is it going to attach to anything? It's like, listen, I, I can't. I can't, man. I can't be doing it. Right, how many more? This one here. Cut. They're just so long. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Anyway, I'm going to, you know, stop that round because honestly, as if you haven't but worked out, I could go on forever. Come back with receipts, I guess, is, is what I would say. Um, enjoy your clicks, I guess, because we all want those because we're on YouTube. It's why we do videos. So let's not be pretending we don't want the clicks. It's literally why you make content because you want people to click on it. It's like, why do you post an image if you don't want people to view it and like it? Why we do it? Right. There is a, there's an element of that with everything anybody ever posts. So I get it in that sense. I just think you need to be careful about what you say because it's big, it's big things to throw around. I don't like it. And I'm not having anyone have a go at me for, um, you'll say I'm clapping back, however you want to put it, you know, responding, whatever. Um, I haven't mentioned who it is. I haven't done anything of the sort. I haven't pointed anybody to where anything could possibly be. It's more than one person. Just, you needn't bother coming for me because that's not, that's really not the vibe I'm going with. As usual, I'm not naming people. I'm not doing that. So you needn't do that. I've not doxed anybody. I've not gone to that level. So I'm just pushing these areas in here because they'll probably keep growing, you know. I'm just saying my piece. People used to be really uppity about this in 2020, but like, if you say your piece on the internet on a public forum, I got to be able to say mine. And most of the time I don't. Most of the time I don't. I've kept myself to myself for so long now, but you got to stop with the fake shit. You know what I mean? You've got to stop. Right. You know what? This looks all right. Will it adhere to the pool? Probably not. But I actually feel more confident about it because I've at least checked the roots and it's in a bigger pot. So if nothing comes of that, that's fine. But without me putting it in a bigger pot, that's obviously him. I'll give him a bit of feed, a bit of hydration, and then we'll see how he goes. That's not straight. That is about as straight as I am. That's no good, is it? That is no good. I will fix that off camera. <laughs> And I think I've also just messed up the watering thing in the bottom there. That's no good. There we go. Maybe that's a bit better. If actually, if I put very quickly one around the watering cylinder, it should probably keep the bottom of it in line a little bit more so it's not as wonky. But anyway, that's what I want to cover in this video. You can leave any comment you like down below. I will, I will gladly take that, you know, um, but... I'm just saying my piece on something that's come to my attention because we we don't be having that on this channel, okay? We're, no, 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 no. If you're going to criticize me for something, make sure it's actually valid. It's got to be valid. Otherwise, I reserve the right to tell you it's bullshit. So there you go. Right, hang on. Very quickly, guys, I'm just trying to tie this around the bottom of this watering thing. It will look ugly, but it doesn't matter. I can see it. You can't. Just keep it in place, but I don't do it too tight because there's a plant in it. So let's just put it around here. And we'll leave it like that. That'll do. You know, I'm going to cut this aerial as well and just hope that it sort of wraps around and does something good. Right. That's him. And that brings us to a close. If, like I say, if you want to leave a comment on anything, that's very cool. Um, yes, it is slightly negative in nature. Guys, I'm talking about a negative thing. Please exercise your common sense here. It's not going to be me laughing when I talk about it. I know people are very sensitive to stuff like that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Here is my merch if you like it. By the way, yes, I do have hair extensions. I didn't mention it, but I had them in last night and I love them and my hair feels very heavy. You'll see my hair down at some point. Um, I just haven't had the time and I'm very busy. So that's that. And obviously my feed is on Amazon. It's also my website. You can get it quick from Amazon. I'll make no, no bones about that. You can get it a lot quicker, but you'll get it just the same. 
So the links to those are down below if you're in the UK. My merch is available from anywhere. It is a Teespring link. A lot of people are like, oh, it's not on your website. I don't sell it through my website. I sell it through Teespring. But the link to that is down below in the description. Anyway, I will love you and leave you. And I will see you next week in the next video where I should have some extra content out for you. Just a little bit busy this week. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you could do so. That's it for this week's video, guys. Bye-bye.